guys, welcome to Clary Tale. I'm in Florida. Well, not right now as I'm filming this, but when this vlog goes live, I will be out in the sunshine state and I am so ready. It's been exactly a year since I was last there. And this time I'm gonna be going for four weeks. Actually, it's four weeks, three days to be exact. I'm so excited. I'm so incredibly lucky that I get to go for all that time. And I'm gonna be taking you along for the ride. So make sure you're subscribed. There's gonna be so much content on the way. And in this vlog, I thought I would let you know some of the plans and give a bit more detail, let you know some prices and things. So grab a drink, grab a snack. Let's go and talk all things Florida. So travel day, that vlog will be coming after this one. So make sure you stick around for that. I know everyone loves a travel day. Let me know below, what is it about a travel day that you love so much? I'd love to hear. So we are flying from Manchester Airport to Orlando International Airport with Virgin, which is gonna be very nice. But before we go, we have a bit of a surprise. We are doing something that we've never done before and we are going to an airport lounge. I am treating my parents, they have no idea it's happening. Like I said, this is something we never do on a travel day. We would just tend to get a pastry or something at an airport and just put that money towards something in Orlando instead. I'm looking forward to doing something different. Let's see if it's worth it. Let's see if it enhances our travel day experience. If you book into airport lounges, what is it about them that you love so much? and I'll let you know what I think of it once we've done it. It was £39.59 per person. We actually had a 10% discount code, which was on the Manchester Airport website. That spurred us on to book it as well. And we are going to the 1903 Airport Lounge at Terminal 2. So that will include all the food and drink, alcoholic drinks as well. I can't wait to see the reaction of my parents when I tell them this. I've been trying to throw them off the scent by saying things like, we'll have breakfast in Starbucks, let's get there early so that we can just chill when we're there. They have no idea. I can't wait. We have chosen to drop down in Atlanta. It really reduced the cost of the flight. So that's a little tip for you if you are looking to bring the price of the flight down. It doesn't increase the travel day time too much. Of course, it's not as good as a direct flight, but our flight ended up being 500 pound return with a suitcase by doing this. We are flying home direct though. So we are going from Orlando straight to Manchester and that's pretty important when you've had such an amazing trip. Disney blues are imminent. You just wanna get home. So the fewer flights, the better. You'll see this all again in the travel vlog. But in terms of timing, Simon and I will be there for the first two weeks and then I'm gonna be staying on with my parents for the second two weeks. We're gonna be hiring a car together and staying at the villa, which is amazing. I can't wait to get there. Simon and I were last in Florida, Christmas to New Year, going from 2022 to 2023. It was when we did the MSC cruise, so I filmed that, but I didn't film much else of that trip. And then there was a trip that Simon and I did to Florida in May, 2022. I didn't take my vlogging camera for that trip at all. So we've had a couple of trips where I've not really filmed. So I'm looking forward to this one where I'll film a bit more of our trip together. I like having a mixture of some days off camera, some days on camera. So anytime that we do something fun, I'll make sure I'll get the camera out. So the fun things that we do have planned, let's start with the new things that we've never done before. Epcot, you all know, is my absolute favorite park. It's where I worked for two years. I just, that place has a special place in my heart. But the whole front area, I know it's not completely done yet, but the front area, Moana, Walt statue, that's all new for us, so that'll be exciting. Simon's never done Guardians of the Galaxy, so can't wait to get him on there. Plus it's flower and garden, the best time in my opinion to go to Epcot. Epcot is at its most beautiful during flower and garden. So colorful, so beautiful, the floral smells, I just love it. There are some new topiaries this year as well. There's a Groot topiary, I've got to go see that. 
Another reason why I love to go to Florida this time of year, not only for flower and garden, but it's also around my birthday. It's March 29th, my birthday. And on this day, we've got something very exciting booked. If you've seen my Disneyland Paris vlogs, I did hint at this because I bought some ears to match the experience. We are going to the Artist Point Snow White Character Dining at Wilderness Lodge. We have done Artist this point twice before Simon and I did this on our first program but we've not done it since it has changed its theming I do love a theme so I'm looking forward to this you get to meet Snow White dopey grumpy evil queen the menu and food items and the drinks all look so well themed can't wait to experience this I'll of course film it and because we're going to be at the sort of monorail loop resorts we're going to make a day out of it going around the other hotels as well which is exactly what I did for my birthday last year if you saw that vlog I'll link it below if you didn't this time because our dining's a bit later we are going to try and stay out until the fireworks and watch Happy Ever After from Polynesian Beach. And we'll go to the Grand Flow as well and the Contemporary and just have a really nice chilled resort hopping birthday. If you don't know, Simon's immediate family live in Florida now. So Simon's parents, sister and nephews. So we'll be visiting them a couple of times. I probably won't film a lot of that, but we do have a park day planned and a staycation so i'll try and film some bits of those and speaking of staycations we have another staycation booked this time a disney staycation simon has booked all of this i have no idea where we're going it is a surprise for my birthday he just had to tell me when it was so that we can sort of do our schedule but yeah i don't know where we're going all i know is it's club level club level disney i can't wait i'm gonna bring you along to that bring you along on the surprise let me know below let's do some speculating where do you think we're going for club level for my birthday oh my gosh honestly when simon told me this i could have cried it is just i'm so excited i just love club level as well and some of my club level vlogs still get watched and i get comments on them so if you would like to see some of those i've got a playlist of my disney staycations i'll put them below i'm giving myself a lot of work <laughs> in editing here but i'll um, put a list to some staycations if you have missed any of those uh, but yeah, it should be good. I can't wait. I might try and do a couple of vlogs from the staycation. I might do sort of a formal what's included with club level and then a more laid back, this is what we're up to. I know it's really hard to find that balance with vlogging, showing you what something's about and then just bringing you along on our experience as well. I try and kind of mix them both, but it is good to separate them sometimes, see which one works better. Something else we'd like to do this trip is universal it's been a good while since we've been there I've not been since my second program with Craig and Robert probably six seven years ago now and Simon's not been for even longer so I've not done Hagrid's Velocicoaster the new Minions ride Born Identity, what else? Fast and Furious, Simon's not done King Kong and Jimmy Fallon, so it's time to go back. Also, Mel's Diner, I literally would go back for that restaurant alone. It is my absolute favorite. It's because it's my mum and dad's favorite. I get such nostalgia whenever I go in there. I actually came across an old picture recently when I was looking up pictures for Mother's Day. I'll put it here. And it's just a picture of one of our first visits to Universal. We would always goes to Mel's Diner we just love the theming like the 50s music the diner vibes we just love it my mum and dad would always get this cherry pie I don't think they do it anymore I think it might just be apple pie now but yeah it just brings back all the memories so we've got to go there my mum and dad actually have annual passes that they bought in the summer so they definitely want to go and I might because they have Volcano Bay included I might do a day in Volcano Bay. I haven't decided yet, but I do love Volcano Bay. So 
any excuse to go. So a pinch me moment for this next little bit. I am working with Legoland while we're out there. I'm not required to talk about them now, but I will put ad gifted here because they have kindly gifted my family and I some tickets to Legoland. I'm so excited. We've never been before. Simon went maybe a decade ago with his nephews, but my mum, dad and I have never been. The last time that we went was when it was Cypress Gardens. So I'm really excited to see what they've done with the place excited to see all the Legoland attractions when I got that message on my Instagram honestly I just couldn't believe it had to say yes and looking forward to bringing the whole family out to there I've heard so much about the apple fries as well so we'll have to go and try those but let me know below have you been to Legoland before I'd love to hear must do's when you are there we're going to be doing some non-theme park things as well like celebration and Mala Millennia the loop premium outlets go to some hotels check out resorts off-site restaurants as well we'll go to all our favorites like applebee's panera bread cracker barrel bahama breeze just all our favorites plus new ones as well we watched a trackers vlog about raisin canes that's in florida now so we'll have to go and try that also summer house at disney springs that's new we'd like to try there and some favorites in disney springs too gotta go get a blaze and deluxe burger i've actually still never had a gideon's cookie I need to rectify that. The hype for Gideon's cookie is through the roof, so I need to know whether it is worth it. On one of the days, we're gonna take a little road trip to Clearwater, which is one of my favorite beaches in Florida, and we're gonna carry on to Tarpon Springs. Simon and I love it here, but we've not been for a while, so we thought we'd go this time, take my mum and dad, they've never been before. Tarpon Springs has a very big Greek population so it's got such real authentic greek food so we're really looking forward to that and i'll be sure to film that show you around give you some more details and if it is something you want to add to your list of things to do in florida for next time hopefully that vlog will be helpful for you and finally i'm just so excited to see some of my best friends again who live out there it's been a whole year since i've seen them most of them you've seen before because i've vlogged with them so curtis and alec i'm going to be spending some time with them lauren's floating lights can't wait to see lauren and magical meg we're definitely going to be meeting up a couple of times and my good friend josh as well and then there's some friends that i've not filmed before that i'm looking forward to seeing i just can't wait to hang out with all my favorite people in the most magical place on earth well i feel like that was a really waffly vlog but i hope you enjoyed it i talked really quickly towards the end because the sun is going down i'm losing my light <laughs> but i hope you enjoyed seeing some of our plans there are going to be some surprises along the way as well so be sure to stick around so much to come I'm going to have enough content here to last me till the end of the year, but no, I'm going to try my hardest not to drag it out. When I get home, I am working full time, so I do find it hard to upload more than one a week. But if there are some experiences while we're out there, maybe just dining or maybe a half day that I've filmed, I'm going to try and upload those on the Wednesdays. So there might be a bit out of chronological order, but because it'll be shorter and easier for me to edit, it means I'll be able to put up two that week, things like that. So stay tuned, hit that notification bell so that you know when I upload next, hopefully Wednesdays and Sundays, and it means it won't drag out as much. There's some more trips coming towards the end of the year, so I've got to make space for that. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. The next vlog you'll see will be travel day and then four weeks of Florida content. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you did. Please do hit that like button. It really helps the channel. Channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. Bye! Make your memories, make your memories, take your pictures, make your memories.